Head coach Carrie Turner joins BGSDFalcons.com. Uh, coach, so yesterday was first official day of practice. How is the team shaping up heading into the season? We've had a good start with our unofficial practices. The um, conditioning in particular has been really challenging and I'm pleased the progress of the team over the summer. Uh, they came they came prepared and ready to go and I feel like we're at a really good starting point to work into our routines. What are you looking to improve upon most from the 2015 to the 2016 season? I think we did a great job preparing physically last year. We were really ready to go with our routines and, and ready to compete. Mentally we need to up our game and we're working with sports psychology to make sure that the team is focused at every practice um, and focusing on winning each day, not so much um, looking too far down the road. Um, we need to make sure we're using each day as a building block. Um, so really that's what we're going to be doing is preparing pretty similarly physically, but really upping the mental game. What can we expect from the upperclassmen this season? Well, we have some great leaders this year. Uh, we have two seniors, Alyssa Nutella and Caroline Ellingbow, and both of them have been major contributors to our program. They came in really ready to crush all the conditioning testing and just ready to go. So I, I would expect that um, they'll play a big role. Um, Lauren Feely comes back, uh, was the MAC freshman of the year. Um, you know, so we'll be looking to her potentially in an all-around position as well. And, um, I'm really looking for leadership out of them. That's something that they, they need to take this young group uh, under their wing and make sure that they are all moving in the same direction. Um, and so far, it looks like it's going pretty well. Talking about the young group, uh, a lot of new faces on the team. Talk a little bit about the newcomers and what they're bringing to the squad right now. Yeah, just about half our team uh, is made up of freshmen, and um, that's going to be an interesting start for us. Um, but a lot of talent there, and so far they've they've shown that they're willing to work hard, that they're willing to push with just about any challenge that we hand to them. Um, I, I would expect Julia Beyer will be a standout for us. She's already showing potential uh, in the all-around, um, and we're, we're seeing some, some highlights from not just our scholarship athletes, but our, our walk-ons as well. Uh, it's a huge group with, with eight of them coming in, and um, I feel like they're going to find their niche on several events, and we're helping them to try to narrow the focus early uh, and make sure that they're ready on, on a few events um, and maybe not stress themselves out everywhere so that what we don't want is that they end up kind of nowhere. So, you know, if we've narrowed them down to two events or three events, that's what they're focusing on already this early in the year. Okay. Um, adding Marie Case to the coaching staff, um, she was the assistant from Kent State who recently had just won the MAC championship in 2015. What does she bring to the program this year? Well, Marie was a total standout as a gymnast at Kent State. You know, was part of a program that made nationals for the first time, and Marie herself qualified to nationals as an individual several times. And then, of course, last year she was their student coach, winning the MAC championship. And I am looking to her to to help us build on you know the things we're doing right, but also focus in on areas where maybe she has seen. Um, you know, a push in a different area, whether it's mental or physical, um, you know, trying to learn from her experience. Uh, you know, Kent's been a program that we've been chasing and we were able to beat them in the regular season last year, but, you know, they got us at max. So it's really important to have her insight and she's working very well with the athletes. Um, she's a great addition to our program. Thank you.